Mythic Entertainment which has also been known as BioWare Mythic, EA Mythic, Inc. and Interworld Productions was a video game developer in Fairfax, Virginia that was most widely recognized for developing the 2001 massively multiplayer online role-playing game Dark Age of Camelot. Mythic was a prolific creator of multiplayer online games since its formation in the mid-1990s. On May 29, 2014, Electronic Arts announced it would be «closing the EA Mythic location in Fairfax», effectively winding down all the studio's operations. Despite the studio's closure, Dark Age of Camelot will continue to be supported by X Mythic staff under a new studio, Broadsword, which is also responsible for maintaining Ultima Online. As of 2018, the name remains a registered trademark of EA. History Mythic originally evolved from two early Washington, D.C. area online game development companies. The first was Adventures Unlimited Software Inc. AUSI, was founded in 1984 by Mark Jacobs when it launched Aradith, a commercial online role-playing video game which charged $40 per month. AUSI later developed games for Genie, creating an online version of Diplomacy with Eric Raymond in 1990, and Dragon's Gate in 1985, originally inspired by Aradith. Mark Jacobs was the president of AUSI and other developers there would later work for Mythic. The other half of Mythic Entertainment was Interesting Systems, Inc., founded by Rob Denton, Matt Furore, Don Campbell, and Roger Shropshire in Fairfax, VA, in 1990. Prior to the founding of Mythic Entertainment, ISI had developed one multi-user BBS text-based role-playing game called Tempest, which was later renamed Darkness Falls. Darkness Falls would later provide the codebase for Dark Age of Camelot. Mythic Entertainment was officially formed in 1995 when AUSI Mark Jacobs and ISI Rob Denton joined together. Its original name was Interworld Productions, and in November 1997 the name was changed to Mythic Entertainment. Mythic made numerous online games in the mid and late 1990s, ranging from online action first-person shooters to online RPGs. Some titles include Silent Death Online, Magestorm Millennium, Darkness Falls, The Crusade, ID4 Online, Spellbinder, The Nexus Conflict, and Splatterball. In 2001, Mythic Entertainment released its first MMORPG, Dark Age of Camelot, the game for which Mythic is best known. Electronic Arts purchased Mythic Entertainment and renamed the company EA Mythic on June 20, 2006. EA Mythic renamed themselves back to Mythic Entertainment on July 10, 2008. Mythic Entertainment released Warhammer Online, Age of Reckoning, its second MMORPG, on September 18, 2008. On June 24, 2009, it was announced that as part of EA's restructuring plan Mythic Entertainment and BioWare would come together under a new RPG, MMO division headed by BioWare General Manager Drive Ray Musica. It was also revealed that the current general manager and longtime Mythic boss Mark Jacobs had left EA on June 23, 2009 and would be replaced by Rob Denton. The company was then renamed to BioWare Mythic. On November 9, 2009, Mythic was part of a broader reduction in force throughout Electronic Arts. The number of employees released was not made public. In 2012, the studio was renamed back to Mythic Entertainment. 
This was confirmed in November 2012 on the Dark Age of Camelot website. Topic: <laughs> Mythic Microsoft lawsuit. Mythic sued Microsoft in December 2003 for trademark infringement and unfair competition regarding the name of Microsoft's Mythica MMORPG, which was in development at that time. On May 25, 2004, three months after the game was cancelled, Mythic announced that the case was settled and that Microsoft agreed to not use the Mythica name on new online video games and to not register it as a trademark. Also as part of the deal, Microsoft gave all Mythica-related trademarks and domain names to Mythic. Topic: Corporate Honors. Mythic has been listed on the Deloitte Technology 500 list of fastest growing by revenue technology companies in North America since 2002. In 2004, it ranked 106th with a 2,226% increase in revenue over the past five years. Topic Games Topic Aliens Online Aliens Online was an online first-person shooter, action game based on the movie franchise where two teams of Marines and aliens fought each other. The game was for the GameStorm gaming service. The budget for the game was $450,000 USD. Topic: <laughs> Dark Age of Camelot. Mythic started Dark Age of Camelot development in late 1999. The company invested $3.2 million developing the game, an amount more than double the sum used for all its previous games. Dark Age of Camelot was also the company's first massively multiplayer online role-playing game MMORPG. Dark Age of Camelot development was led by Rob Denton, as lead programmer, and by Matt Furr as producer. Its support and development continues, in parallel with other EA Mythic projects, such as the 2005 announced Warhammer Online. On February 5, 2014, Mythic co-founder Rob Denton started a new studio called Broadsword Games. On the same day, development of the game was transferred from Mythic to the new studio. As such, Dark Age of Camelot will continue to be supported after the closure of Mythic Entertainment. Topic: <laughs> Imperator Online. In 2002, Mythic announced it was working on a new title, a science fiction themed MMO called Imperator Online. This MMORPG based on an alternate history where the Roman Republic never fell, and advanced to be a space-traveling multi-planet empire. Minor changes at important moments in Roman history create an extremely different timeline for Earth, leading to an interstellar Roman Republica and thousands of years of galactic Pax Romana. However, the game's production was cancelled in July 2005, when Mark Jacobs announced that they had acquired the Warhammer Online license from Games Workshop. <laughs> Warhammer Online – Age of Reckoning During the E3 trade show, on May 18, 2005, Mythic announced that it had licensed the Warhammer Fantasy IP and was starting to work on a new MMO, Warhammer Online – Age of Reckoning. 
This title was released on September 18, 2008. The game's last day of play was December 18, 2013. Topic: <laughs> List of games. Dragon's Gate 1990. Tempest 1991. Castles 2 Online 1996 Rollmaster Mage Storm 1996 Splatterball 1996 Ultima Online 1997 Invasion Earth 1997 unreleased Darkness Falls 1997 Rollmaster, Bladelands 1997 Aliens Online 1998 Starship Troopers, Battlespace 1998 Godzilla Online 1998 Splatterball Plus 1999 Silent Death, Online 1999 Darkness Falls The Crusade 1999 Dark Storm The Well of Souls 1999 unreleased Spellbinder The Nexus Conflict 1999 Independence Day Online 2000 Dark Age of Camelot 2001 Imperator Online 2005 unreleased Warhammer Online Age of Reckoning 2008 to 2013 Warhammer Online Wrath of Heroes 2012-2013 unreleased Ultima Forever Quest for the Avatar 2013-2014 Dungeon Keeper 2014